Hello, in this AIM video we're going to look at the GPS lap insert function. Now throughout the video tutorial series so far we've focused on uh, reviewing data from a single session and if you're interested in where any of those videos are we'll put a link below in the description. In today's video we're going to start having a look at what we need to do to be able to potentially compare data from two different sessions. And one of the most important things that we need to set up first and foremost is that the data that is in both sessions is aligned to be able to understand uh, true comparison. So first thing we're going to do is go back to our example and we're going to click on both sessions. Now you can do that by holding down the shift key, um, clicking on the mouse, the, the down cursor, lots of ways of being able to select multiple sessions. And we're going to click on open test and it's going to open both those tests. Um, and so you can see straight away something slightly amiss as we look at the data here on this particular chart uh, that's going on. Now, you'll probably notice up here that uh, the red session, which um, is uh, the second session we brought in, is actually showing a six second lap. And so if, for example, we go into the lap manager here, we can see that if I scroll left and right here, that it's picked up a part of a partial first lap uh, as you cross over start finish and this data um, is not particularly useful. Now you can go in and you can clean that up by being able to enable and disable laps but this may be indicative of something else that's happening uh, which we can clean up first of all and that is that the system may be picking up start finish points that are slightly misaligned and you can see that here because if I actually select one of the laps here and I close out uh, the 106 number, things aren't, aren't where they need to be exactly. If I change this to red here, you can see uh, that um, this is just slightly too odd. The graphs are slightly misaligned too much and it's not necessarily telling us um, the data that we're looking for. And over time, as you get more and more used to looking at AIM sessions, you may be able to identify that things just aren't as they need to be. If you're not sure, this GPS lap insert function will also make sure that any of these errors are taken away, even if the data is or isn't lined up. To do that, we're going to go into lap manager here. We're going to select the sessions. We can select either of them. We're going to select this session. And over on the right hand side here, there's this function called GPS lap insert. And this is going to put um, a start finish point or a point where you can actually measure um, the equal start and finish point on any session that you look at. So you've got a number of options. You can do it with your cursor if you want to. You can set it from lat long. Um, but what I'd like to do here is to click up and what it'll do is it'll open up all the data um, and all the tracks that are as part of the database from AIM. This is Silverstone National, so I'm going to select there and I'm going to confirm the selection. If I click on continue, it's going to realign those laps. It's still got the six second lap in there, which we can um, resolve in a minute and I'll show you how that's done. But if I click on confirm, I now know that that session has had exactly the same start finish as identified on the track. But let's just make sure we do it here for this session as well. And we're going to go in and we're going to do it for both our sessions. And we're going to click on continue. And that's going to make sure that that session is aligned up um, as appropriate as it can be as well. So now if I then go back to the measures graph, we're still using that slightly odd six second lap. But if I actually go into um, here and I close it out and I pick on one of the uh, sessions here, this 1057 here, and I turn off this one, what we'll notice is that things have slightly aligned better. Now all of a sudden this looks right. The breaking point wasn't um, a long distance apart. It was actually a lot similar. There's a, a, a huge amount of, of work that needs to be done on this lap especially through turn one, which we can see, which we can see here. However, um, it's definitely cleaned things up a little bit. Now, just to finish off this example, one of the things you may be saying is, well, hold on, how do I clean up that six second lap? That's always going to feature because the AIM system always focuses on the fastest lap. Well, you can do that here by going to the lap manager again. And what you can do is you can actually disable that lap. Um, you can also right click on the laps as well. So generally through a session, uh, and this was a practice session, what I like to be able to do is to be able to uh, enable or disable um, the first lap and the last lap because arguably those are coming in or going out of the pits um, and uh, you know not true uh, useful reference data. So here I can actually right click on this one as well and click on disable laps. Now every time it opens up the session 
I'm only using the actual laps that I ran on track, regardless of if it was an in or an out lap. We've removed those. It also helps us if we set up the split times report as well, which is what we talked about earlier, because with the split times report that we want to look at, we don't want any, any data here that will skew the results. And so by turning on and off the um, first and last laps, we get a true reflection of what the theoretical best lap would be, rather than one of the laps saying, oh, you ran that in six seconds, so clearly that's the fastest. And then the theoretical best lap is also incorrect. And so just to make sure that we're clear here, this is a GPS lap insert function. So let's just do a quick recap. If you're not sure, if you've got data from different drivers, if you've got different sessions from your own device, the AIM Solo may have picked up different uh, satellites. This was more common with the older uh, setup. But at the same time, um, I generally tend to do this on all sessions just to remove any element of error. And it's simply going into Lap Manager, clicking on GPS Lap Insert and picking your start finish um, from where the track database has it. So that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Please also leave a comment below if you want to let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified of future videos. There's a lot more content to come. Thanks for watching.